एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर टेन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर कैलकुलेट द टॉर्क ऑन ए स्क्वायर प्लेट ऑफ मास वन ट्वेंटी ग्राम एंड इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर इफ इट रोटेट अबाउट द डायगोनल विथ टू रेडियन पर सेकंड स्क्वायर एंगुलर एक्सलेशन फर्स्ट लेट एस फाइंड द मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्जी ऑफ द स्क्वायर सीट अबाउट इट्स डायगोनल वी नो दैट द मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्जी ऑफ स्क्वायर सीट अबाउट द एक्सेस बाई सेक्टिंग इट इन टू टू पार्ट इज गिवन बाई वन बाई ट्वेल्व एम एल स्क्वायर वेर एल इज द एज ऑफ स्क्वायर The moment of inertia about another axis perpendicular to this axis will also be the same. Now, as per perpendicular axis theorem, the moment of inertia about an axis perpendicular to both these axes is equal to the sum of moment of inertia about those axes. Therefore, the moment of inertia about axis perpendicular to the plane is one by six m l square. Now, let us assume that the moment of inertia about diagonal of the square is i. If we take another diagonal, the moment of inertia about this axis two will be i. Since both the diagonals of a square are perpendicular to each other, we can apply perpendicular axis theorem here. Sum of the moment of inertia about the diagonals must be equal to the moment of inertia about the axis perpendicular to the sheet, or two i must be equal to one by six m l square, which implies i is equal to one by twelve m l square. Thus, the moment of inertia of a square about its diagonal is one by twelve m l square. Putting the values of m and l, we get 1 by 12 into 0.12 into 0.05 into 0.05 kg meter square, or 0.000025 kg meter square. Alpha is 0.2 radian per second square. Now torque is equal to moment of inertia into angular acceleration, that is 0.000025 into 0.2 newton meter, or 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 newton meter. This is our answer. In order to request solution to any question from H C Verma book, post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter for latest updates. Thank you for watching.